A woman between two cultures in Layla Abu Layla's minaret. امرأة بين ثقافتين في رواية مئذنة لليلى أبو العلا by جيهان إبراهيم السيد خريبة Lecture at the Higher Institute of Art Criticism in the Academy of Arts in Cairo Abstract ليلى أبو العلا the Sudanese writer is the winner of many awards and the prizes like the Scottish Book Awards and the Kayim Prize for African Writing She is nominated for many international prizes as a famous writer Furthermore, she is the most translated writer of fiction her literary work is are translated into about 15 languages. What draws the attention is that the study of the Sudanese literature as African in relation to Islam is not at the spot of most literary critics. Hence, such a prolific writer like Abu Laila represents a chance for us to concentrate on somewhat marginalized section of African literature. She is the writer of many works like The Translator, Colored Lights, Minaret, Lyrics Alley, The Kindness of Enemies, Elsewhere Home, and The Bird is Summoned. Menard has been nominated for the IMPAC Dublin Award and the Orange Prize. The novel explores the cultural encounters between the African Islamic East and the European West, represented in the character of Najwa, who is a Sudanese woman tormented between the Sudanese cultural values and the those of Europe. In her forced journey from Khartoum, to London after her father's execution for political charges after a coup. Najwa duplicates Abu Layla, where the novel seems to be an autobiography of the novelist, who suffers the belonging problems between the Sudan and Britain after colonialism. But the question here is to what extent Najwa's cultural identity and affiliations articulate those of the authors. The novel occurs in six sections in which the past and the present of Najwa are just supposed to culminate in adhering blastly to Islamic culture as an expression of the traditions, which is a constitutive culture for a considerable portion of African countries, and at the same time clinging strongly to Western culture, which is the culture of the colonizers. Therefore, this research aims at studying the novel to shed light on Abu Layla's post-colonial discourse represented in her heroine's cultural conflicts and assimilation, in addition to elucidating the extent to which both the writer and her heroine meet regarding their cultural belongings. This represented a cultural contribution to the cultural and ideological studies concerning Abu Layla as an African post-colonial writer. Consequently, this paper adopts post-colonialism as a frame of reference to address vocabularies of belonging, alienation, hybridity, cultural identity, and its conflicts associated with post-colonial biculturalism in addition to the biographical approach to connect the life of the author with her novel, Minner. Key words, African literature, post-colonial Sudan, African and European culture, Islamic culture in Africa, Biculturalism, cultural conflict, cultural identity, alienation, hybridity, belonging problems. Thank you.